So smog, local air pollution, climate change. Those are just some of the problems we deal with every day, in part because of our reliance on fossil fuel vehicles. Governments around the world have recognized this and set targets to fully electrify the transportation sector in the coming decades. But doing so will require a massive rollout in charging infrastructure. To better understand the challenges involved in this rollout, let's consider the example of an electrified workplace like this one here. The average charging port today can provide around seven kilowatts of power, but that's four times the average power draw of a home in California. So if everyone shows up to work at 9 a.m. expecting to charge immediately, we would need a neighborhood worth of electrical infrastructure, and that's as expensive as it sounds. But most drivers only need to charge at a fraction of that maximum power to receive the energy they need by the end of the day. If we instead use software to control when and how quickly these vehicles charge, we can spread that charging across an entire eight-hour workday, which lets us significantly reduce the peak and install less infrastructure. That's the main idea behind my thesis. Now, the idea of scheduling electric vehicle charging to reduce peaks isn't new, but it had never really been tested at scale. So we built a first-of-its-kind test bed here at Caltech with over 50 chargers. We called it the Adaptive Charging Network. Along the way, we learned that existing algorithms made strong assumptions that prevented us from using them in practice. So we developed new algorithms, which accounted for issues we found along the way, like hardware limitations, limited information, and multiple power limits. Using these algorithms, we were able to reduce the infrastructure requirements by 75%. The system worked so well that it spawned a company, PowerFlex which now operates over 5,000 of these smart chargers. But we didn't want to stop there. Operating these charging systems generated a ton of data that was really helpful for our research. But we knew that many researchers would never have access to a system like ours. So we built the ACN Research Portal. Within the portal, we publicly released three years of data, totaling over 80,000 charging sessions. We've also developed an open source simulator so researchers could try out their algorithms on realistic models based on our system. These tools have already been used by researchers at over 100 organizations and in 37 countries. So bringing us back to our broader sustainability goals. To enable everyone to drive an electric vehicle, we're going to need millions of charging stations. But with our research, we can meet that need and at a price we can actually afford. Thank you.